Rust and brown meat may seem completely different, but both are caused by the same type of chemical reaction, oxidation. On a molecular level, oxidation occurs when two or more substances move electrons around, forming new compounds. The common denominator in many of these reactions? Oxygen. Oxygen all around us reacts with iron to create rust and reacts with the food we leave out, leading to less than appetizing results. We have to thank oxygen for keeping us alive, but it's when preparing food, local chefs like Thad Stuckey have a different opinion. So oxygen is our enemy, David, especially in the food industry. Anytime we have an interaction between a piece of protein and the air, oxidation starts to occur. And what's happening is enzymatic browning. So the enzymes in the meat are actually kind of getting a tan. You probably have seen this in your own kitchen. No one likes a brown apple, avocado, or a piece of meat, but it's safe to eat for now. Doesn't mean that the food is bad. It does mean that you have a very short window in which to eat that food. It's not gonna cause your meat to taste bad or funky. That's all bacterial. But if you have oxidation, it means your meat is exposed to open air, and that can lead to bacterial infection. Oxidation itself, though, just means that the enzymes are interacting with oxygen and are causing some brown. Combine the possible threat of spoilage with the unappetizing color, you'll want to know how to prevent oxidation. Look at this. Much like medicine, prevention is more effective than treatment, as you want to prevent as much oxygen exposure to your food as possible. Keep your meat sealed and your produce uncut until the moment you use it, because... But as soon as you cut a product, that's when oxidation starts to take place. Sweet, fatty, and starchy produce undergo oxidation much more quickly because they have a higher percentage of enzymes inside of it. Consider these potato wedges cut half an hour ago compared to the ones kept oxygen-free in this bath of water. Can you see the difference? So these were cut at the same time from the same potato. And the ones that we left out of the water that you're starting to see that enzymatic reaction on. So if you keep them in, in water until you're ready to cook them, you should be good to go. Chef also has another yeah, helpful like, tip for that right, problematic so avocado. Cut lemon. Just give it a rub on the outside and then wrap it. But that lemon juice is a natural antioxidant. So anytime you can add acid to something, it's going to prevent oxidation of food. Acid, water baths, and airtight seals, all techniques you can use to keep your food looking their best longer by combating the chemical reaction known as oxidation. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm meteorologist David Dixon.